1926, the beloved character of Winnie the Pooh was created by A.A. A. Milne. U.S. copyright law states that a character becomes public domain either 70 years after an author's death or 95 years after publication. So in 2022, Winnie the Pooh became free for all to do as they please. Loads of people are jumping on the bandwagon, and far be it from YTD to miss out on a chance to capitalize on the stuffed, honey-loving bear. Pooch are dead! You tried that. I'm Nick North the Pals. Chad Hancock. Oh, bother. Nick Agger. Uh, e- Eeyore. I don't know. Yeah. Who <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> Christopher Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Those are characters, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, had you guys heard about that? Winnie the Pooh becoming public domain? And I make- did hear about no. that because I heard there was like a, a, a Winnie the Pooh horror movie coming out now. Right. Like, uh, I forget what it's called. Like blood and honey or something like that uh-huh. i watched the trailer for it and it is very like b-movie mm-hmm. shitty looking i will not be watching it it's not oscar bait you're, you're it's not a prestige film <laughs> yeah and then um also uh i saw um i saw some some nice uh winnie the pooh porns last time i was looking so mm-hmm. that's how mm-hmm. i knew it was out of copyright i just there's actually thought about porn. that because there's like <laughs> there's a, there's parody right which you yeah. can do freely so somebody could have made like a parody with a different named Pooh bear and got away with it mm-hmm. is that right or no in theory i don't know how that works yeah if it was called like benny the boo or something maybe right. i don't know mm-hmm. how that because works. we know they make like a parody of porn stuff that has not been out for you know 75 years or right. right this is not winnie the pooh a triple x parody right stuff like that super horny old brothers yeah right <laughs> so wait so so like we could technically just show winnie the pooh clips and use winnie the pooh stuff on this podcast and not owe anyone anything yeah well, i think we should all right <laughs> we're kind of like this the snacks things is run a kind of course right should we just start doing po- <laughs> pooh shit <laughs> I don't think we can show like Disney cartoons or whatever because those are still like copyright Disney, right? Right. But we could take the characters and like oh. make our own shit, you know, like act mm-hmm. out a poo scene in costume for all our listeners to imagine. We're still talking about the bear, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. sure. All right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do talk about your poo scenes right. quite a bit. Yeah. As you There's brown out poo toilets. scenes in my house. Yeah. Shit just became public domain. <laughs> We're allowed to talk about that. <laughs> mm. I try to keep it a private domain, but I can't always help it. Mm-hmm. Um, who's your favorite poo character? Um, Not Tigger. Two girls. <laughs> Say that. Tigger, I find annoying. Yeah. Um, I guess probably poo. I relate to poo, right? Big dumper. Um, <laughs> likes I like honey a lot. The rest of them are fuckheads, like most of them. Yeah, yeah. Right? Tigger's like obnoxious. Rabbit's an asshole. Uh-huh. Eeyore's depressing. Right. Yeah. I guess Piglet's all right. Yeah, Piglet's kind of a little shit, a little too happy for my taste. <laughs> I don't remember a single characteristic about Piglet. He's like supposed to be like a like kind of naive little nice person, right? Yeah, right. It's it's a kind of pe- person mm. you would just like boot across the room for fun. I think as a, I think as a kid, I liked Eeyore because he was blue. And I like the color blue, but I, so I, I think I told them, I guess we were recently, obviously I've talked about this before. We were recently in Disney and one of the, like the funniest things my son has ever randomly said, he we were in this like store. My, my wife and daughter were like shopping for something and we were just happy to be by the poo stuff. And Jake just picked up a stuffed Eeyore and goes, Hey, I'm super depressed and it doesn't make any sense. And then just put it back <laughs> on the shelf. And I started crying laughing. I'm like, that's the best way to sum up Eeyore. Like, his life seems fine. No one understands why he's upset, but he is. <laughs> that is very funny. He does need to get on some medication, I think, probably. A little Zoloft? Yeah, Christopher mm-hmm. Robbins should be supplying that to him. And there's also the kangaroos. Do, do they have any personality oh, yeah. traits oh, other yeah. than mother and kid? I don't nope. think so. Yeah. Isn't there an owl, too, or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably smart, right? That's oh, well, smart. he's the guy. He's our guy. Uh, so I no, I don't know anything about the owl except for this, because I haven't seen any of the Winnie the Pooh cartoons in a long time. Mm-hmm. And I forgot there was an owl. But we do have a book that I read to my daughter sometimes. It's like a Winnie the Pooh A to Z. And, it, mm-hmm. you know, it's like P is for Piglet, E is for Eeyore or whatever. 
H is for honey, but it says O is for owl. And then underneath it, it has like a text where it's like, I, I, this is paraphrasing, but it's basically like owl won't shut up. And Winnie gets very annoyed by it. <laughs> like, and it's just a picture of like owls, like arms, like or wings are like spread wide and his mouth is open. <laughs> and Pooh is like looking so bored. <laughs> What's owl the, like... won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the conflict of Winnie the Pooh? Is there like a villain in Winnie the Pooh? Or is it just like they just wander around and they like lose a balloon and have to go find it or some dumb shit? Yeah, it- I always remember the one as a kid where he gets stuck like halfway through the oh, tree. tree. Yeah. yeah, trying to get fat, honey or something. And they fat like dumper. <laughs> his dumpers <laughs> on one side, and like <laughs> Rabbit has to like have dinner f- for somebody who's coming over, and he like. <laughs> Makes Pooh's ass into like part of the room, <laughs> decorates it with like a tablecloth. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my uh, this is my big dumper, my dumper decoration. <laughs> Got it mounted on the wall. <laughs> my old ass ottoman over here, just like put a whole tablecloth over it. Uh, well, uh, Pooh does not wear. Uh, pants, Gagger, but no. uh, you have a story about someone who doesn't wear a shirt, right? Well, it's funny. Somebody I used to work with used to call getting drunk and walking around the house with like no pants on but a shirt. He's like, oh, I, I poo bared it last night. Mm-hmm. He said he would do that often. Um, but yeah, so so uh, my company used to have like formal Christmas parties, I think because the pandemic, no one really comes in anymore. So they don't, there was no official party. It's all self-funded. Hey, so one fun- sec before you go. One sec. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna walk around the house with one item of clothing, yeah, shirts down the list a bit. It's right, the right. bottom. <laughs> like, As a man, yeah, no shirt is needed. Probably even pick socks over a shirt <laughs> if I think about it. And also, why is that a Pooh Bear? That's like three fourths of cartoon characters: yeah. is shirt and well, no pants. <laughs> sure, but if you everyone uses a different one, you have no idea what it means. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, so uh, All right, go ahead. mine is definitely boxers. I have kids around. I'm not yes. walking around my dick flopping around. Boxers uh-huh. one, and then like pants either two. shorts or pants. Right, yeah. right. And then tie three. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Just tie. <laughs> Just tie. Yeah. Just neck tie. Cummerbund four. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Eye patch, eye patch, <laughs> butt plug five, um, clown clown nose six. <laughs> All of these Cla- before shirt. <laughs> Classic clothing option: clown nose. <laughs> uh, Anyway, so yeah, so so no one really, there was not an official Christmas party this year, but a bunch of folks said, hey, we're all going to come in, we're all going to bring booze, let's go like just have a Christmas party on our own, non-officially mm-hmm. sponsored, in the office, and I did not go in. Um, wow, very Yeah, well, I mean, various reasons. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I, I'm not going to my Christmas party either. So I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, my wife had to go into her office, and also like... As I get older, the appeal of free booze kind of wears off. And yeah. as I get more seniority in the company, I don't want to be around when certain things happen, which leading to the story, <laughs> uh, my my friend and my best friend at work and I kind of co-manage this team. And he's friends with someone on Instagram from work, which is also not something I would do, but that's fine for him. And there's a picture somebody took that said, well, do you know it's time to leave work? And it's like three of our coworkers and one of the guys that reports up through him. He's just standing there with his shirt off, holding his shirt and like a drink. And I'm like, what in the fuck are you doing with no shirt on in the office? So that we had to like, he had to talk to the manager that reports to him and have her talk to him. And he had to like officially let everyone know up the chain in case anything happened with it. It's stupid. Like nothing happened. It's just Mm -hmm. him standing shirtless. But has there any been like office stuff or weird like Christmas parties where you guys or people were walk around like, well, I know you've mentioned a few chat in the past, like Halloween and stuff, but like. Well, but let me ask you this. The guy, yeah. did you see this picture? The guy with no shirt? Mm hmm. Okay. How are his cum gutters? That's the thing. I, <laughs> I told him, like, tell him, A, that's inappropriate, and B, work on his abs. Mm-hmm. Like, there's this. Mm-hmm. He's an Incredible Hulk in it. He was Incredible Hulk in it. Hulk smashed. Uh, the Christmas. Hulk was smashed. <laughs> <laughs> we did have one, actually. Um, I So I didn't personally witnessed this i heard mm-hmm. it from people who heard it from people or something like that so maybe this happened maybe it didn't but we did have like a holiday like winter trip up to tahoe um like this was a long time ago maybe 14 years ago they took the whole company up to tahoe and um there was one guy his job was like 
basically he was in IT and he was responsible for getting like new people's computers set up. He was like one of those people. And after this party, he no longer worked at the company. And supposedly the reason was because one of the managers was just walking around, went to the elevator to go back to their room and just found him passed out naked in the elevator. From, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, from getting drunk, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we had to. We had to. Yeah, fire somebody because he was passed out in the freight elevator, drunk. He had, he was clothes on, so he's mm. way more classy. Than Amateur. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, you can't pass out in the freight elevator. Yeah, there was one guy. Certainly not with night. clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in that freight elevator. You better be Pooh Bear in it. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got poo freight only for Pooh Bear. Uh, there was like a, it must be IT guys. There was an IT guy that we used to crack out. He used to get hammered. And he, I remember he was wearing a giant sombrero. I have no idea what that had to do with Christmas. And he was like drunkenly telling my friend that uh, all the kids these days were into butt chugging, which is where you put like a beer bong up your ass to like mm-hmm. absorb the, he's like, oh, the kids are butt chugging. He's like staggering out of the sombrero. And I, <laughs> I could not breathe. Because I, I was behind him, so I just saw his head tottering while my friend's facial expressions were going, like, like super, super confused. <laughs> ah, the kids are butt-chugging! I'm butt-chugging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that IT team was a real party. Mm-hmm. Do you remember um, that Winnie the Pooh when... Um... <laughs> You beat me to this. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> when Rabbit decided to use Pooh's ass for butt chucking. <laughs> Do you remember that one? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> remember was that, that one what we... you were going to say, Novak? Or did you have a better one? Yeah, so it was <laughs> more or less. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> most of the most of season three of that animated Winnie the Pooh was... Mm-hmm. Various rabbit and poo ass play episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so before when you said rabbit was an asshole, do you just mean rabbit played with assholes or <laughs> the titles yeah. all had some ass thing like back at it again? Stuff like that. <laughs> Dumper in the freight elevator, stuff like that. Yeah, clever play on words like that. <laughs> You know what I think when I some dude walks up to me with his Johnson sloshing around is just Pooh Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I didn't say this guy walked up to me at a party with his dick out. I just said he does it. He does it at home. The safety is our home. I mean, the first thing I want to do when I see a, 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 sh- a shirt only person is hand them a jar of honey. So it makes yeah. sense. I say, dip then, your penis in this. Cover their dumper with a tablecloth and eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's eat some snacks. We've got three pretty original snacks here uh, that you may not have heard of. Uh, we're going to rate them on a five point original scale. Original snacks. <laughs> These snacks are original, you guys. <laughs> yes. They are public domain now. That's why we're eating them. The love that, like that, indifferent to that, dislike that, and hate that are our options here. Let's get these uh, shrimp crackers out of the way. <laughs> out of the way. So this is the Zona, Z O N A is the company. Premium shrimp crackers. Hot chili and lime flavor. Now, why do you say get out of the way? Have you eaten shrimp crackers before? They just, I don't know. Maybe I looked at the three of these and they seem to be the least appealing of them. You Um, like shrimp, right? There's a very funny live shrimp on the front. (laughs) Just (laughs) flat out put the live, the the actual live shrimp on the front of the uh, package. I will say uh, we, we actually get shrimp crackers or shrimp chips a decent amount. From like the Asian grocery store is H Mart or 99 Ranch or whatever. But we never get hot chili and lime flavor. I'll tell you that. And so normally they're pretty good. But mm, I don't know. We'll see with the hot chili. They tell you to serve it with tomato or chili sauce, uh, takbaki, or your favorite drink. All right. Um, I'm trying to think about what the... Because they're a little thicker than a chip, right? Yeah. Um, they're kind of... S- they're sh- they're chip shaped and they look like chips, but they're a bit smaller. But they're like think of, airy, think of kind of in the inside. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. they have a, a consistency that when you bite through, it's not thick or dense or whatever. It's almost like a a flat cheese puff consistency, or like one of those. You ever eat those like munchos or whatever? They're kind of like like almost like Cheetos, but like le- like more airy. 
and not flavored like spicy shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sh- shrimp t- chips don't taste like shrimp, right? Like uh, they don't. I don't know. I barely. I don't really taste shrimp. It tastes that much briny of some sort. It's like I guess, weird. yeah, yeah. It t- it tastes like they're f- of the ocean. Yeah, shrimp crackers is what um, rabbit served off of Pooh's ass for that dinner. <laughs> and it was a little spicy. He did do hot chili too. Mm-hmm. And Pooh was like, "Oh bother!" <laughs> <laughs> is that his big catchphrase? Oh yeah, oh bother! And where's the honey? Right? And shut the fuck up, <laughs> rabbit <laughs> or owl. <laughs> <laughs> Get those dishes off my dumper, rabbit. So he yells. And that famous uh, catchphrase of put more shrimp chips up my asshole. <laughs> that one, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah uh-huh. <laughs> famous poo catchphrase. I'd rather shove these shrimp crackers straight up my ass and listen to Owl for another five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> owl won't shut up. Eeyore's fucking depressed. Rabbit's a little bitch. <laughs> Tigger's hyper as shit. And I booted Piglet across the room. <laughs> <laughs> What's Christopher Robbins deal? He's just some kid that hangs out with a bunch of animals that talk. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he poo he poo bears it around uh, Hundred Acre Woods. <laughs> He's not allowed near the elementary school anymore. So he goes out in the woods with his Johnson out for owl to remark upon. He's not even in it that much, right? Or is he? I have no idea. Um, I think he's in it. Hmm. Yeah, the story is that he is a. Sounds like you know a lot about it. <laughs> he, he, it's just, it's not real. Like, he goes into Hundred Acre Woods, right? It's not real. Mm-hmm. He's really just a 40-year-old man walking naked <laughs> through the woods, <laughs> talking to trees and shit. Hallucinating the whole thing. <laughs> All right, Gagger, what do you think of these? It, it wasn't poo that got stuck in uh, the hole in the house. It was his penis that got stuck in a hole in a tree. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> and the squirrel in there. Set an acorn on the tip of the stick. <laughs> yep. Because yep. squirrels live on the inside of hollowed That's... out trees. That's how it works. <laughs> that That's is... how it works. <laughs> that is canon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Christopher Robin fucking an oak tree. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> oh, he's stuck again. <laughs> Go get the crowbar. <laughs> Uh, crowbar? <laughs> How is that helping the situation? I don't know. You gotta lube it up with honey. I guess he just um, needs to get soft. and then How wedged in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused as the sequence of Christopher Robin's sexual peccadillos. Um, <laughs> someone, he sounds like a dirty little piglet. Um, yeah, shrimp crackers. So these are not great. I, you know, I'm Mr. Chip, but I almost feel the, these are, well, these aren't chips. These are crackers. Cracker. Never mind. Yeah. So I'm, I'm off the hook. I like the consistency fine. I think that the weird crunchy in between kind of flavor or texture, I mean, is, is fine. The heat is, it's heat for heat's sake. I don't, it, you just feel like a warmth on your mouth, but I don't think it necessarily tastes different because the heat, I think it's the lot. And I don't even mind the brining. You're, Chad's right in that. It maybe doesn't taste like a shrimp. I don't know how you would get a cracker to taste like a shrimp. Um, but it has like a briny seafoody taste. I guess I don't, what's throwing it off is the lime kind of makes it weird for me. I don't really like the lime. Like there's a little bit of sourness to it that I don't like that much. So mm-hmm. these are, f- <laughs> uh, I'm not really compelled to eat. The- I really want to eat something right now. I don't know why I'm not kind of hungry, but I'm well, we not got compelled two more snacks. to. That's true. Um, I could just so you could wait thirty seconds. I could just hide inside a, a hollow oak tree and wait to glory hole uh, Christopher Robin. Uh, me and Rabbit will get him for sure. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give these a dislike, Dad. I don't. I don't like these too much. Mm-hmm. Jen. I do, yeah, I do like the consistency of shrimp crackers. Uh, for some reason, to me, actually, they're, it's it's easier to just, like, put a shitload of them back the, compared to even, like, potato chips or something like that. And maybe that's just because they are more light and airy. Um, in this case, I don't like this flavor. I don't like um, the spiciness. I don't like the lime, like like Geiger said. it It's sort of off-putting in the aftertaste there. Um, so other flavors of these, I would like a lot more, but this particular flavor is getting a dislike that for me too. Yeah. There's some problems with it. I, I don't know why guy you decided to 
pick on the lime. <laughs> What's the thing you picked? <laughs> you don't oh. like the the briny seafood foam <laughs> flavor of these styrofoam chips. <laughs> um, I think another flavor could be good. Uh, so I, I'm going to blame the flavor on this one. So I think if if uh, you're curious about shrimp crackers and you might like them, uh, just maybe stay away from the hot chili and lime. I'm going to give him a third, just like that. So an unwelcome visitor for the shrimp crackers. Um, we'll save the chocolate for our dessert here. Let's do the uh, corn snacks next. These are also hot chili. Yeah, it's sorry. Caramucho uh, corn snacks, and the company is K O I K E Y A Koikea. Now there's a little <laughs> funny thing underneath where it says corn snacks. It says, "Hey!" Exclamation <laughs> point. What's up? Another long day. <laughs> Just try our yummy, spicy caramucho and say hi with a bunch of eyes on it. What up, bro? You want some caramucho? Long day, fucking trees. When they put that tablecloth uh, on your dick, right? <laughs> yes, when they do uh-huh. that. Right was it that. just a tight latex tablecloth? <laughs> <laughs> Tablecloth is ribbed for rabbit's pleasure. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Really? They're that bad to you? Yeah. That's <laughs> quite a reaction. <laughs> Geiger, do you think these are more or less spicy than the last ones we just ate? Less. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. These are a little more spicy. I was trying to, like, oh, calibrate yeah. myself right. as someone who has no sense of spice, but it seemed less spicy to me. Uh, what's the little picture on the bottom? Is that like a grandmother shouting something? <laughs> what the fuck? Pablo Picasso nightmare is this? <laughs> Salvador Dali Caramucho over here. What the fuck? I named the only two artists I know. Um, yeah, what is that? A cat? Is that a person with their head on sideways? Yeah, it is. Um, oh, that's fucked up. I'm going to Google Translate what she's that's yelling. fucking straight out of Christopher Rabbit's nightmare. <laughs> Uh, actually, the reason I picked that Winnie the Pooh thing is that this week, coming up in a couple days from this release, is National Winnie the Pooh Day. Oh. Hmm. I've never known one person to really like Winnie the Pooh. Like, like I, I, it's just, what? they're just kind of there. <laughs> like, who He's you world know famous. That? I know, I know that, but like, who do you know is like, oh man, I'm a big Pooh fan. Like, they have Pooh Bear stuffed animals and all this shit. Maybe they did back then, but no one gives a fuck about Pooh. Did you see the new Pooh content just dropped? <laughs> Midnight release. <laughs> yeah, that's nobody. Yeah, need to update Pooh for the modern, like make him an influencer. Mm-hmm. Right. Kangaroo is like a real housewife now. Hey, like and subscribe below. Today we're gonna be. I'm gonna make Rabbit eat dinner off of my ass. <laughs> He's the new Stevo of the animal world. <laughs> Rabbit's gonna shove seven carrots under my eyelids. <laughs> what? <All right. laughs> Fucking weirdo. <laughs> Yours, the literal jackass. He just walks in. <laughs> All right, Chad. What do you think of these? Well, I mean, they aren't as spicy as the the shrimp chips, but they have less flavor to them, you know. And because it's just a corn chip, there's really nothing there that's like notable except for the spice maybe they have like a they have like a pretty good form factor and a good crunch but that's kind of the end of the positive things i would have to say about them i don't particularly like these at all uh these are also getting a dislike dad i'm not sure which i like better between this and the shrimp chips honestly like they're both pretty equally bad to me i so these look like cheetos like a a light colored cheeto but it's exactly that so i agree that the the texture and crunch is kind of good because I like the regular Cheeto form. Um, but the second I put this in my mouth, it just has to me the nastiest flavor. I was actually surprised that you guys um, didn't think much of it because yeah, I you were really repulsed. Yeah, had a very negative reaction to these, and I think they it wasn't the it wasn't the heat that made me dislike it. It was the it was the flavor. But I I feel like these are hotter than the shrimp crackers, or maybe I just got. You know, these things can be pretty varied. So maybe the couple that I ate Mm -hmm. uh, had a little more dust on them. But um, I really, really dislike these. I'm going to give it a hate that. Mm -hmm. Nice. If you really dislike them, you should give them 
a strong dislike. You misspoke. Mm-hmm. Dislike is an option, bro. That's true. <laughs> uh, All right, I got no response to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can lay it out. Change it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think maybe it tastes more spicy because you just ate something else that was spicy and that was still on the tongue and it was like it was like contributing to the overall heat. Mm. I didn't think these were as spicy as the other ones. I also like. I agree they have less flavor than the shrimp crackers, but I didn't like the flavor of the shrimp crackers. Sure. So in, in this case, that's a, a positive. I like the form factor. I like the crunch. I kind of <laughs> like the flavor. <laughs> what? Are you like in the middle of like burping or swallowing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I were burped. like for a full minute. You were like, <laughs> well, I was like trying to get a burp out, but I fell like, right into the video. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I ate a whole pot full of honey tonight, and it's just well, really yeah, hurt it's up over on for me. dinner. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Eeyore and I are gonna go to t- go to town on Pooh's asshole a little bit, <laughs> and it's mm-hmm. he just he takes so long to get done. Who Eeyore? He just like oh, just he gets, meanders takes a long over time there. To get done eating Pooh's ass. Okay. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's not gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> oh boy! For those wow. of you, know, I, just, I just did a visual representation of your licking. It was pretty What's great. The sound of licking. <laughs> 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 uh, mm-hmm. Oh bother! Um, what the fuck am I even? Yeah. That's the fucking worst poo I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his voice sounds like. No one knows poo. Not Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Eeyore, take off your tail and tickle my balls with it. That's what Pooh says. Because he's got right. a removable He can remove tail. his tail. That's kind of mm-hmm. sexy. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, some deep knowledge I just dropped. You guys are fucking poo heads. That I don't poo was much better. That. Take off your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Take off my ball sack. Poo <laughs> <laughs> is a, a union foreman at a construction <laughs> site. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna fucking jack me off or not? <laughs> Been over here for an hour. You're just bitching back there. <laughs> uh, uh, these things are indifferent. I'm fine with these. These are okay. All right. Well, uh, we still have a tie, and not much uh, to beat for the crunky coming up later. <laughs> so, uh, segment time, Jed. All right. So. Um... Going to come back to 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 one of my favorite segments here. I love doing this segment. So there's a couple of shows that have been in sort of the cultural zeitgeist lately. You know, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of these shows. One of them, my, probably my favorite TV show that I've seen in years, Andor, the Star Wars show, yeah. was on recently. Um, and also another show I watched, not quite as good, but I did watch it. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Did you guys watch uh, yeah, I did. either of those? I know you watched Andor, Geiger. Did you guys watch... Yeah, I watched. Yeah. I watched one episode. Look, it was okay. Of which one, Lord? Of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I stuck through the whole thing, and it was like pretty, but like uh, mm-hmm. it's a lot like poo. Pretty, but like you know, when you dig into it, there's not much substance there. Mm-hmm. Anyways, as we know, you know, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. One thing they have in common is there's some pretty wild character names well, here uh, you in there. Right. So uh, we're. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah so we're uh we're returning to a game here you fake that uh the way this works i'm going to present you guys three things one of them is a real star wars character name one is a lord of the rings character name and one of them and when i say lord of the rings i mean any like tolkien mm-hmm. you know could be hobbit could be whatever the fuck um and then one of them i i faked that i made up uh so you have to decide which is which you'll get a point for each one you get Get correct. We did do Star Wars characters once a long time ago, if you guys remember. I do. With my brother David. Neeper's Panprick. Neeper's Panprick. <laughs> Therm Scissor Punch. Um, I hope you're going to say Frodo Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Something else. Yeah. 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 Well, you'll be surprised to learn that there are a lot more obscure Star Wars characters names. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, Geiger, yeah. since uh, you're birthday is the next one to come up between the two of you i will let you choose if you want to go first or second second with us day we ever know so <laughs> all right novak's going first here we go let's two all right one of these is a star wars character one of them lord of the rings one of them i made up here we go hob hayward co bibble and a rumble 
God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was tossing poo salad, his aguil, his aguil really rumbled a little bit. <laughs> Hob Hayward. Hob Hayward. <laughs> C.O. Bibble. And a guilf rumble. Um, Hob Hayward, I'm going to say, of the three, I don't know why that feels like the closest maybe to Lord of the Rings. Um, and then Bibble. C.O. Bibble. Oh, C.O. Bibble. And what was the last one? A guilf rumble. I'm going to say a guilf rumble is Star Wars and that you made up C.O. Bibble. All right. That's a uh, one for three there. So right. Hob Hayward is Lord of the Rings. It's a hobbit. Uh, C.O. Bibble is uh, the governor of Naboo, you know, the Jar Jar planet or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and a Gwil Frumble I made up. All right, Geiger. I have a feeling this entire segment is just going to be Novak and I going, wait, what were they again? Do <laughs> 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 you say that again? <laughs> just you wait. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Geiger. Neeper, Neepers, Panbrick, and who? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Amarantha Chubb. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. Yep. Bruno Brace Girdle. Bruno Boner. <laughs> and Harry Hardon. And Gafferkey Lenswin. What the fuck? This is just this is just rough refrigerator magnet poetry. <laughs> Three fucking times. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Who? who? Amarantha <laughs> Chubb, Bruno uh-huh. Brace Girdle, and Gaffer Key Lenswin. Okay. Amarantha <laughs> Chubb is Star Wars. Brace Girdle is made up. And uh, the last one is uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, that's an offer. Ah. So Gaffer Key Lenswin is a background character in the movie Solo. He just walks past them in the spaceport. No lines. Oh, I remember him. They got to make up that <laughs> fucking long a name for a dude who's like <laughs> like pottery in the background. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Um, Bruno Brace Girdle is another hobbit. And Amarantha Chubb, I uh, I made up that one. Hmm. Uh, I sure you did. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Do the do the v- writers name these, or do fans pick names for this stuff? I think like yeah, like the writers name them, and then I mean I, it's on Wikipedia, so I <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think some of them the writers name, and then some of them like later maybe it happens. I don't know, but either way, it's pathetic and nerdy. Foreground right, so. Han Solo background. Tommy Chode walks by. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked at like a lot of them, the names. It's like there's a couple Star Wars characters names not included in here that are just like named after Beastie Boys songs. So they just take like a Beastie Boys song and then like turn it into that's now the name of a Star Wars character or whatever. Um, all right. Novak, Half-mast intergalactic. <laughs> here we go. Novak. Ho-Hoss Akwesh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh Pawn Mill Sandando and Falco Boffin. Okay, Falco Boffin sounds <laughs> ringish. ringish. Everybody was Falco Boffin. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, what was the? <laughs> I don't was remember the other two at all. Hohas Equesh and Pawn Mill Sandando. I'll take Pawn Mill. For the win. No, for the first Star Wars <laughs> character and the first one you made up. All right. So that's uh, another one one point for you. Man. So Falco Boffin is from Lord of the Rings. That's a hobbit. They're all fucking hobbits. All of them are hobbits. <laughs> mm-hmm. A million fucking hobbits. <laughs> My axe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. Pond Mill Sandando I made up and Hohas Ekwesh is a horse X-Wing pilot. So <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, were we talking uh-huh. about this? Yes. So okay. if you remember from a couple episodes ago, yes. in my notes app, I had horse X-Wing pilot written down. <laughs> and I finally <laughs> remembered why was because I heard that name somewhere and then wanted to use it in this game. <laughs> Wait, so where is the horse X-Wing pilot in... Okay, it's not actually in the movies. It's in for some of the books. It's in some of the books. So it's just the X-Wing pilot that looks like a horse. I think... Mm-hmm. Okay. 
All right. And then he dies in battle. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, shit. A horse can't fly a fucking egg swing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like slapping at the cons- console with his hooves. <laughs> um, so here we go. Geiger, you're up. Yeah. Freddy Gurr, quote, Fatty Bolger, Glup 408, and <laughs> King Katunko. Mm. All right. Fatty Bulger? Freddy Gurr, Fatty Bulger, Glup 408, and King Katunko. Man, I remember when the Glup 408s first came out and I was first in line to pick them up. <laughs> um, I think, so that one sound, okay, so there's a, I know there's an Irish mobster named Whitey Bulger. I wonder if there was, it sounds like something like the, all right, I'm going to say Fatty Bulger is a, another fucking hobbit. Uh, <laughs> all a million fucking named <laughs> hobbits walking around Hobbiton that we never meet. None of them ever bother to help Sam Gamgee and all the other hairy fucking. They don't assholes. even know that like Frodo's gone on this quest. Like no. they just live their peaceful no. life. Like fucking. Yeah. Yeah, jerking off into bushes or whatever. Yeah, it, do. yep, that's all they, they <laughs> find a bush and they just fucking spray it down. Mm-hmm. Um, who are the other two? Um, it, Glup four hundred eight yeah. and King Katunko. Yeah, uh, Glup four hundred eight is some dumb fucking droid from Star. Well, no, 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 you're trying to make me think it is. <laughs> you made that one up, and King Katunko is Star Wars. Impressive. All right. So that is a three for three. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, and yeah. Freddy, Frediger, Fatty Bulger is a hobbit. So you yeah, got that yeah, right. Exactly. Fatty. King, is King, it... Ka- King Katunko is from the, the Clone Wars cartoon. Mm. That's uh, on yeah. The, yeah. Everyone knows that. Didn't, well, didn't Kanye uh, name his album 408 or Heartbreak after Glup 408? <laughs> <Isn't> that... <laughs> <laughs> I, I I got Glup 408 because there's a common joke of like a fake Star Wars name is Glup Shitto. <laughs> <Where it's> like, <laughs> that's like a joke where people are saying we'll be like, like <laughs> making fun of Star Wars fans like, oh, I'm so excited. Did you see the new Glup Shitto figurine or something like that? <laughs> But I knew one. Awesome. I knew Glup Shitto would be obvious. <laughs> Glup sitting Shitto. <laughs> All right, halfway home. Here we go. Novak, you're up. Uh, okay, here we go. Tote Ra. <laughs> Tote Ra. Otto Noakes. And Willie Banks. Ooh. <laughs> Willie Banks. Willie Banks. Uh, Which one's second base for the Blue Jays? I <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh, okay. Which one's a hobbit? <laughs> Which one is a hobbit? <laughs> None of them are like Nazgul Willie Banks or anything doesn't else. Sound like a hobbit. <laughs> Billy Blanks? What? <laughs> Willie B- <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy Blanks, <laughs> the Tybo <Tybo-Kai>? guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get the rings of power to the mountain. <laughs> doesn't he do uh, Tai Shido? Willie Blanks. <laughs> 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 All right, Willie Blanks. I've already f- completely forgotten the other two names. Read right, them again. T- Tote Ra, Otto mm-hmm. Noakes, and Willie Banks. All right, Otto Noakes is the only one I could see being Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think you'd make up Willie <laughs> Banks. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd try harder than that. But, Would uh... I? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to say he's Star Wars and that you made up the other one. Okay, that's an Ofer. Um, Willie Banks is a hobbit. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) They ran out of (laughs) names. Naming their neighbors now. (laughs) Uh, Otto Noakes I made up. And Tote Ra is the bodyguard of the bad guy in Solo. Oh, yeah. A lot of Solo references here. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Well, that movie sucked, and so do all the character names from it. (laughs) 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 All right, here we go. Geiger, you're up. Yep. Voth sauce. <laughs> no, it's, Delicious. It's, it's, that... it's not spelled. It's spelled S O S S. So not uh-huh. like it's like it's like Guy sauce, Fieri yeah. guest star. <laughs> I'm like I got that Voth <laughs> sauce, bro. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Come to Moss Eisley Cantina. <laughs> <laughs> he did Moss Eisley Cantina on diners, drive-ins, and dives. <laughs> <laughs> Spent 20 minutes on their delicious Voth sauce. <laughs> You will not believe this banter stew. It is <laughs> the fucking bomb.com, brah. <laughs> All right. Voth sauce. Mm-hmm. Matt Heathertoes. <laughs> and Ubla Molbro. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> um, now, does the fact that you pointed out how sauce was spelled mean that you it's not made up because you found it somewhere? I well, I just knew that as soon as I said Voth sauce, you guys immediately started thinking <laughs> about sauce, <laughs> like S A U C E. Yep. So, uh, but okay. I should clarify: Voth sauce, Matt Heathertoes, and Ubla Molbro. Uh, Ubla, Ob- okay. I am going to say Boss Sauce is <laughs> Star Wars. The Heathertoes is a fucking dirty, grubby hobbit, uh-huh. and. No, a do nothing layabout hobbit that did not help the cause whatsoever, <laughs> and uh, v- vulva urethra or whatever the last one is, is <laughs> you made up. <laughs> okay, so that's one point. Um, Voth sauce I did make up. Um, <laughs> you had to clarify <laughs> when I made this up. I spelled it S O S S, guys. <laughs> Ubla Molbro is mm. a, a rich gambler. In the background on a Canto Bite in uh, Last Jedi, the casino planet. <laughs> Wh- <laughs> why? Matt Heathertoes, not a hobbit. Mm. He is a human from, um, if you guys remember in the first Lord of the Rings movie, Frodo and them, they go to a town and they're at a, like an inn where they first mm-hmm. meet Aragorn. He's a human from that town. And in the books, he like dies in a brawl. I don't think he's in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. That's Matt Heather Toast. All right, so just score check because we got two left here. It is uh, Geiger has four points and Novak has two. So uh, Geiger, you or Novak, you got to get all three here to stay in the game. All right, um, but we're definitely going to do the last one, even if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Sicatro Visago, right? Star Wars. Barlaman <laughs> Butterbur and Lord of the Rings. Gwathan Harthorn. Ooh, those last two both sound like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, but I'm just going to go Star Wars 1. <laughs> I'm not even going to fucking... These names just sound like what... After Owl talks for 10 minutes, what it must sound like to Pooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gwathorn, Hawthorn, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to go Star Wars 1, Lord of the Rings 2, made up last. All right, you're still in it. That is a three for three. Oh, oh man. Well That's done. Pulling yeah. it out. I, uh, on my early ones, I made the mistake of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sicatro Visago is uh, from the Star Wars Rebels cartoon. Um, and Barlaman Butterbur is actually the owner of the inn where uh, the, the previously mentioned inn where Frodo meets mm. uh, Aragorn. Is this inn a big part of the. <laughs> The books? Yeah. I think I think yeah. butter the butter bar, butter bar guy actually is in the movie because there's like a picture of like his face as like a human right. actor or whatever. Just give me like Sauron for this last. Right. One. Just give me Sauron <laughs> or fucking. Uh, All right. So Novak has, has five points. Geiger, you have four. So if you Fuck. just get one of these, it's a tie. Mm. If you get all three, you win. I don't have a tiebreaker. Or if I get two of them, I win. It's not possible. Uh, not possible. All right. Well, that's right. <laughs> All right. Learn the math. All right. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no Matt Heatherfoot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to struggle with some of these, but uh, here we go. You made them up. I didn't, oh, I didn't make them all with up. Them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uzzer, Ugder, Dugder, Krizo, Ozo, Asgeth, Aga, Oddbish. Oh, just, I'm, no, I'm not going to. Dead. <laughs> I'm fucking leaving. I, you want me That's to fight the nine names? Nine you wanted, fucking names? You wanted to go second with list A, all right? So this uh-huh. is... <laughs> you so, just had a stroke, and I'm supposed to tell you what movie it's from? Then, and that's one name with dashes in between. Oh, each, oh each thing that I said. okay, now I know it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll read that again for you. Uzzer, Ugder, <laughs> Dugder, Krizo, Azo, Asgeth, Aga, Oddbish. Mm-hmm. Here's the next one. Padok, Draba, Takat, Sop, Directi, Nick, Linky, T, Key, Vef, Nick, Nesevev, Likek. Do you want me to read that one again? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the third one, Daddy Two Foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> Daddy Two Foot <laughs> is one of those hairy footed hobbits. <laughs> you saw the first name and wanted to make up. 
<laughs> another goofy 19 <laughs> character name. I'm not going to have you read those uh, mouthfuls again. I will just say uh, the first one's you, the second one Star Wars. The first one that I read was me, and sure. the second one was Star Wars. Three for three. Whoa! Done. Oh, well done. That was yeah, pure guess. Obviously, so, you, des- you deserve it for listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the the one that was uh, the the longest one, the pow doc drama, blah blah blah. The second one I read mm-hmm. is actually a character in Rogue One. He's like uh, this really? little little alien guy that's on the Rebel team that goes with them in the to Scarif in the end. And he's like, and he's like, they just call him Pow. But like, that's his full name is like 100 characters long or something like that. Jeez. And then um, Daddy Two Foot is a hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Hobbits a rife, uh, fertile ground for names. What is the point of having a character who is doesn't do shit, <laughs> calling him a short name and then making up 10 names for him <laughs> what level of nerdery <laughs> i mean that's star wars yeah <laughs> all right let's eat our last snack it's the crunky c-r-u-n-k-y and it says crunch chocolate and they look like um they're about the size of like a junior mint Mm. It's like a square junior mint looking thing on the outside. Or like a big raisinette kind of thing. Or, yeah. or like a almost like a, a piece of gum, you know, like the square. Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah. yeah, like a large chiclet. Uh-huh. Or one of rabbit's mm. big turds. <laughs> and they supposedly, from the picture, it looks like they maybe have crisp rice or something <laughs> <Yeah>. in them. <laughs> we should move it. The cartoon just had it was... They decided to put a touch of realism to where just occasionally one of the characters would just have shit roll out of their ass. <laughs> so, so, Plopping just out like of the real ground. animals who are just randomly <laughs> shitting. Rabbit, your tablecloth shitting again. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pet rabbit when I was a kid, and it shit all the time. <laughs> like, all the fucking time. <laughs> all over my room, all over the cage. So yeah, yeah. All over your room. <laughs> well, like I'd let it out, you know, like I'd come home and I'd like let it out of the cage and like mm-hmm. play with it or whatever the fuck you do with a rabbit. And it would just hop around my room and shit everywhere. You said you tied carrots to your deck, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By cage, I meant inside of hollow tree. <laughs> and then I would fuck it with a carrot on the end mm-hmm. of it. <laughs> <laughs> Put yeah. a glory hole in your rabbit cage, though <laughs> <laughs> you're telling us. <laughs> I, I mean, they can make it even more realistic where the like Winnie the Pooh just loses his shit after getting stuck in the tree of the 19th time, just fucking eats <laughs> the goddamn rabbit, just like tears Christopher Robin to pieces. <laughs> He's the power. He has the power of a real bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's an actual bear <laughs> who wears a shirt. <laughs> The Revenant was about Winnie the Pooh <laughs> and Christopher Wren. <laughs> oh, bother! He's like flailing and leaning out of the Caprio's body around. <laughs> did you guys watch that Cocaine Bear trailer I sent you? I did. <laughs> yeah. Looks pretty good. There's like actual mm-hmm. people in it. As opposed what? to what? Like all CG? Like what do you mean? Well, act- I thought it was like a one of those like Velocipaster. Or something, you know, like oh, one of those like, like D actors movie, you've yeah. heard of. You yeah, mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, well, there's act. They actually put people in the movie. I thought it was just a bear. It was all fucked up. <laughs> I thought they just gave a bear cocaine and filmed it for two hours. I thought put it was a sequel to Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> they hollow out a giant redwood. <laughs> they put a bear in there. Give him cocaine. They drill ten glory holes in its jackass six. <laughs> put the camera in one. The camera's like, <laughs> looks like a penis. It's hidden inside a dildo. <laughs> so that the bear doesn't know which dick is the camera. <laughs> You're assuming a bear wants to fuck a dildo? They're not like human. I'm, like... I'm, not, I'm not saying they're going to fuck those dicks. They're not I fucking the dicks. Yeah. <laughs> what you, why, why are you sticking a bunch of fake dildos in there then? To see who gets the <laughs> dick ripped off. Oh, oh yeah. I get it now. No, Come on, sorry. man. <laughs> you didn't really I'm spell John, it out there. I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is <laughs> Dick in a Tree Roulette. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're all gonna put our dicks in this tree and see which one the bear fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting a blowjob from the bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking slurping him down. <laughs> Blood just shooting out of the glory hole. This is the best orgasm ever. <laughs> Uh, so the picture on the front <laughs> makes it look like there's crisp rice. Yeah. But it doesn't there's a little have bit like in there. a very strong crisp rice taste. It if, just you, tastes... if you bite it and look at the cross section, that you will yeah. buy nary a crisp rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just almost looks like it's uh, hollowed out. Like they make this chocolate that's like supposed to be airy feeling. And it almost feels like that. Like the candy on the outside when you hold it feels like heavier than it should be when you see the inside. Um, but I'm going to say this. It's the best thing <laughs> I've eaten tonight. <laughs> uh, whether that's a compliment or not, I don't know. Um, it's just chocolate. I don't think the word crunch, when it says crunch chocolate underneath, is maybe that accurate. I mean, it's crunchy. Sort yeah. of. But it's not like a crunch bar, if that's what you know you think. It's barely crunchy. Um the pieces are very small. The crisp rice pieces are so small that I think it's uh, makes it a little less crunchy. But whew, I'm kind of in that middle between indifferent and like, um, you know, I don't think they're, they're so bad. I'm going to give them a low level like that. The chocolate's fine. Um, it's probably not something I would seek out, but if someone handed it to me at a party, mm-hmm. uh, I would munch on it. So uh, they have a real strong leg up <laughs> right now to go for the win. Geiger, what do you think? Yeah, we don't have to fuss over this. It's a square of decent chocolate. Um, I agree. You, you kind of taste the rice crisps more than you like feel them as a texture. Um, but it's fine. I think these are good. I've eaten the whole thing. So, mm. uh, yeah, I'll give it a like that. These are good. Way better than shrimp chips and the caramucho. All right, two likes. Chad, do we have a welcome visitor? Yeah, we do. I I like these um, a lot. I, l- I usually like Rice Crisps and stuff. I wish this had more Rice Crisps. Rice crisps. Um, I'm not blown away by these at all, but like these are the kind of thing, actually, I feel like these would be good movie theater snacks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like with the form factor and everything else, I could see myself picking up a like if they had them in like the, the, the boxes like the candies at at a movie theater, you know? And uh, just munching on these things absentmindedly while watching uh, Cocaine Bear tear apart Johnny Knoxville's dong. (laughs) 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 Um, Yeah, so uh, it's it's a like that. They're good. All right. Three likes, a welcome visitor. For me, they benefited uh, by the company. That it kept, okay. Uh, they- <laughs> <laughs> Whatever much like, you mean. Much like perhaps poo benefits <laughs> from being surrounded by a bunch of fucks. <laughs> um, all right, so they are the winner, Crunky Crunch Chocolate. Geiger, where can the listeners contact us? If you have uh, ever tried shrimp crackers and like them, if you are a big Winnie the Pooh fan and want to inform us of more of the lore and characterization of uh, Winnie the Pooh, if you know uh, any fucking hobbits that have any goddamn purpose in life other than just sitting around waiting for Frodo to save the world, mm-hmm. boring ass hobbits, all they do is fucking eat breakfast for four hours. Um, if you uh, want to watch Wee Man get his genitals ripped off by a cocaine laced bear, uh, you can. Uh, <laughs> uh, Where can you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you can. Well, you can go get your own funding, uh, get the script Greenlight by Hollywood, and talk Wee Man into it. Yeah, get a hold of us at utriedat at gmail.com. We're on YouTube. We're on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter, hashtag you tried that. You can find us on Facebook with the you tried that group. Uh, please let us know what you think of our ratings. Suggest snacks. Ask a question for the mailbag. Um, and uh, if you do like the podcast, please uh, let us know in terms of likes and stars and all that kind of stuff. And let all your friends and family know where they can find all the latest Winnie the Pooh slash uh, cocaine bear fanfic, which is right here. All right. Mm-hmm. Here's what uh, the official Winnie the Pooh dot com. Winnie the Pooh dot Disney dot com has mm-hmm. a few bios for these guys. Okay. Mm. Um, here's what it says about Owl. 
Owl is considered a bit of a know-it-all, though his friends in the Hundred Acre Woods always seek his advice. Unfortunately, he often misses the mark. <laughs> so he doesn't know it all. No. He, <laughs> in fact, knows nothing. He's what? He's the well actually guy of the forest. Mm, yeah. yeah. So Owl sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, the but, Owl sucks. But would he make a better X-Wing pilot than a horse? That's the question. Mm, he also doesn't have fingers. Uh, Eeyore, gloomy Eeyore, is not a fan of much other than eating thistles, but his loyalty wins the hearts of his friends every time he loses his tail. Yeah, we have another we have another Winnie the Pooh book that we read sometimes. It's like Eeyore is literally just like moving thistles from like one side of his yard back to the other and then like picks them up and just just moving them back and forth. That's like all he's doing all day. And then like Tigger shows up and is like, why are you doing this? You should do something interesting like bounce. And then Rabbit comes in and Rabbit's like, no, he should be gardening. And then they get in a fight over whether Eeyore should be gardening or bouncing. And meanwhile, Eeyore's just taking the thistles back and forth. And this thing has lasted 50 years. Yeah, the like, book fuck, that's a, fucking What kind sucks. of fucking it narrative is shit. that? It's awful. <laughs> fucking Jesus terrible. Christ. Right, here's the bio for Christopher Robin. <laughs> yeah. Christopher Robin is an aging middle-aged <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who wanders the forest Sticking his dick in anything with a hole. <laughs> but that's on Disney.com, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Christopher huh. Robin the Cradle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a depraved sex perv. Christopher mm. Robin is a 53-year-old man who divorced his wife and found a 24-year-old bride. <laughs> <laughs> and he's now addicted to fentanyl. <laughs> the, the owl shows up. Do you know who I am? You came out in the woods with this wine cooler, <laughs> looking for the first tree you could find with a hole in it. I was going to come out here and tell Winnie the Pooh to not meet people off the internet. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I was, I was going to prevent Pooh from sticking his butt in more doorways. I wasn't going to do anything else to his butt except stop it from getting stuck. <laughs> Then why do you have a dildo with a camera in it, sir? <laughs> why do you have a bag of cocaine? <laughs> so I could film my escapades. <laughs> That's why. Oh, well, well. <laughs> it's public domain, so it's free for us to. That's what happens when you suddenly become public domain. <laughs> we ruin it in record time. <laughs> Coming for all the public domains. Yep. Everything Sherlock we Holmes, said. sex pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? I don't know. Uh, Who else is public domain? Snow White? I don't know. The Happy Birthday yep. song? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Snow White, sex pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Ansel and Gretel? They fucking. You know they fucking. <laughs> Fairy Godmother? You freak. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, well, that's gonna do it for this time. We'll be back next time. We'll turn out three brand new stuff. This is yep. Uh. Well, if it isn't Pooh Bear. Oh, uh, hello, Owl. Splendid day to be up and about one's business, quite. Huh? <laughs> Oh. I say, are you stuck? No, no. Just resting and thinking and um, humming to myself. <laughs> <clears throat> you, sir, are stuck. A wedged bear in a great tightness. In a word, irremovable. <laughs> now, obviously, this situation calls for an expert.